why do we repeat the same mistakes again and again there must be some pleasure otherwise why will you want to do it again and again it is just for name sake that you are calling it a mistake actually it is not a mistake at all for you it is a pleasurable activity even some kind of accomplishment had it really been a mistake would you have allowed it to be repeated it is just to keep a good social face that we call it a mistake do kaise ho gaya and now we are preparing for it to happen again hmm such a nice mistake may i be mistaken again and again look into this admit this do you really want to be free of mistakes do you really want that mistake to go away after not waking up in the morning hmm when you wake up at 8 am you say you made a but what were you saying at 5:30 am was it a mistake at that time no it was a decision it was a decision it was not a mistake when is it a mistake at 8 am or at 5:30 at 8 am it becomes a mistake because now you have to talk to yourself and now you have to talk to the world and now you have to somehow justify why you couldn't get up at 5:30 so now that act becomes a mistake, mistake. was it actually a mistake no 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 it was a very pleasurable thing just keep sleeping great pleasure hmm to call a mistake a mistake is probably the only mistake it is never a mistake it is always a deliberate take that is why it is extremely important to be free of guilt at 8 am be a man have the guts to admit that i decided not to wake up and then like a man take the consequences first of all you regale yourself with the pleasure of sleeping right 5:30 you gave yourself the pleasure of sleeping and 8:30 and at 8 you want to give yourself the pleasure of feeling good about yourself no 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 my intentions were pure i actually wanted to get up it was just a <laughs> mistake, mistake. now that you have had all the pleasure stand up and admit i decided to sleep now what is the punishment i want to take it it was not a mistake i did it and now whatever is the consequence i must and i will bear it take it don't feel guilty you have had a hearty meal in the restaurant don't you want to pay the bill don't you want to do that yes, now like a man pay the check why say oh my god it was a mistake you know i just wanted to have a lemon soda but instead of that i ended up having a four course dinner <laughs> it was a mistake you see <laughs> i never wanted to eat anything it's just that you know by mistake i Oh yes. 
I was the one who opted for pleasure and I realize that pleasure comes with pain so I will bear the pain now in any case I don't have a choice having had the pleasure pain is inevitable so what is the point of running away spirituality is not an insurance against paying bills most of us turn to spirituality after having had the dinner and when it comes to footing the bill now you want to become spiritual now you say can i get rid of the consequences of my past actions no you can't pay the bill This is the question most spiritual seekers ask. In fact, most people turn to spirituality only for this reason. The past is full of rubbish. And they are clinging to that rubbish. There are unfinished tasks. There are incomplete actions. There is a lot of carryover. And you don't want to get rid of it. You just want to escape from it. Spirituality is not a refuge against footing the bill. I am repeating. Whatever you did, you must now pay for it. Pay for it. Like a man, pay for it. But in paying for it, if you are conscious, if you realize that you are paying for it because of your own follies, then paying for it is less of a suffering. Hmm? What does Kabir say? Jnani bhukte jnan se murakh bhukte roe Dhe dhare ka dand hai Sab kahu ko hoye Jnani bhukte jnan se murakh bhukte roe You will have to pay for your mistakes No, don't cry Pay smiling Why are you crying? Don't even call it a mistake. Don't even call it a mistake. Calling it a mistake is a form of crying. I made a mistake. Hmm? I did it. And I had no option. Being what I was. I did it. I did it and now I am bearing it. The moment you are so honest and so clean, your emancipation starts. For the first time, you are not making a mistake. In calling the mistake, a deliberate decision of what you are, you are now not making a mistake. Things now change. Something happens. Not that, again, not that you won't have to pay for it. You will still have to pay for it. You will still have to pay for it. But probably you will not be crying anymore. And that is not a small relief. That is a huge relief. Yes, I am paying for what I did. But I am not crying. I am not crying. Hmm? I am standing up to it. Hmm?